Hey, welcome to this video on getting Drive for your desktop. Okay, so I'm in my Google Drive right now, and if you kind of look up to the top right here, we have settings for your drive. Okay, so if I go to settings, I can actually go into settings, but then there's a few other options, right? And the one that we're going to look at here is get drive for desktop. Okay, so if I click on that, it opens up a new tab, and it's this drive file stream. So we want to uh, download and install drive file stream. Okay, and so we have the option for Mac or Windows. I'm working with Windows here, so I'm going to download that. Okay, so we are ready to go here. Let's install this. Okay, I'm going to add a shortcut to my desktop. And we're good. Close. So, I get out of here. I'm in my drive. You can see, uh, yep, I can enable the extension, which is already there. Okay, so um, save disk space by only downloading the files you need. Uh, available offline. Okay, so you can actually edit without an internet connection and then uh, when you do connect to the internet, those edits will be um, made available in your Google Drive through the browser. Okay, any changes will sync automatically as long as you are online or when you first go back online, those changes will be made. And now you actually have this option to schedule meets using Outlook. Okay, so if you're using a combination of Google and Microsoft products, this is also a, a good reason to have this. Okay, and so here we are. So on my PC, there is um, my Google Drive. Okay, so let me click here this PC. You can see I have my folders, I have my drives down here, and there's a separate Google Drive file stream. Okay. And so when I open that up, you can see my drive. And there you go. You can see my first folder, 2020 Summer School. And over here, I have my folder, 2020 Summer School. Okay. And if I exit out of here for one sec, you can see now that I've installed this file stream, okay, it's here on my desktop. Um, so I can quickly get to that folder for my desktop. And I'll make it running. And now I can actually get to uh, Google Docs directly from the desktop. Okay, Sheets and Slides. And so another reason I like to have this, so I've had this on my laptop. This is a newer uh, computer that I'm working on here, so and I just haven't installed it yet. One reason I like it is uh, I can work on files like Microsoft Word files. So I'll, I'll, although I don't have Microsoft Word uh, downloaded on my computer yet. Um, when I do, I will be able to open up, edit in Word, save to this drive, just like I would normally save to any other folder on my on my desktop um, or on this PC. And those changes are automatically made to the Google Drive. Okay, um, as long as I'm connected to the internet. If I'm not connected to the internet, the changes are just there waiting to be synced as soon as I log back into the internet. Okay, so uh, for example, if I just uh, pick, so if I go to summer school, there's nothing in this folder yet. Okay, okay so let's just say I wanted uh, this tra transformations, although it doesn't belong in my summer school folder, I'm going to move this into my summer school folder. Okay, so just like I would take from somewhere else, I can cut that paste it into my summer school folder that was empty and now I can close this and you can see because I'm connected to the internet if I open up my drive
and I go to summer school. There it is. Okay, the change was made there. Right. Uh, that's it for this one. If you liked anything you saw in this video, found it useful, please consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.